Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Saturday, the 6th of June, 2020. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to do two blessings this morning. Today is one of our viewers, Risa Simpson's birthday. Good morning and happy birthday, Risa. And her ask is for a, a blessing for her. So we're going to start this off for, for Risa's birthday, for a special birthday blessing, just for, just for Risa. So Spirit Guides Creator, please give a blessing for Risa, for Risa, for this day. A bl birthday blessing. Here you go, Risa. You, you look at this one. We, we get this one a lot. This is the blessing of good fortune. Rich and rewarding experiences bring you increased spiritual awareness at this time. Good fortune flows to you as your third eye opens. You are inspired, feeling totally at peace. Life is beautiful. Life is a beautiful tapestry woven in the threads of love. Let me read that again for you, Risa. Blessing of good fortune. Rich and rewarding experiences bring you increased spiritual awareness at this time. Good fortune flows to you as your third eye opens. You are inspired, feeling totally at peace. Life is a beautiful tapestry woven in threads of love. Namaste. That was a beautiful blessing. Happy birthday to you. And now, a blessing for the rest of us. A blessing for the collective for this Saturday. A blessing for the first day of the second week of June. This is going to be a... <clears throat> Action packed week, guys. Hold on to hold on to something. Keep your arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times. It's going to get nuts. Okay. Here we go. A blessing for the collective for this day. Oh my goodness. We've never gotten this one before. Oh my goodness, we get a grove of trees glowing, growing together, a corona behind the tree. And this, what I can, only, I can only assume is just growing in prosperity. This is a blessed gift. Something beautiful soon manifests. Trust that all is unfold, unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned. Have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. A blessed gift is on its way. Oh my goodness, guys. Listen to this. Listen with your heart. A blessed gift. Something beautiful soon manifests. Trust that all is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned. Have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. A blessed gift is on its way. Namaste. Good morning. Namaste. That was an incredible blessing. That was a blessing we can all hold on to. The gift. We have been working hard. We have been working hard. Meditation. Prayer, the thoughts, the, the holding, the light inside of your body, the sharing the light with those around you. Those are the works that we are here to do. Though there's power, there's magic in those acts. And, and, I'm, and I'm happy today because we are turning a corner. We are turning, and my spirit guides are here, we are turning a corner. And what I need, what I need to, to pass on to you, 
I need for you guys to to not just say the words, um, I'm not panicking, but to hold that. When you start to feel overwhelmed, whether you're watching the news or whether your emotions just have the better of you, it's at those times where we have to consciously step back and redirect our thoughts, re set an intention, redirect our feelings. There are times where we must cry. We must. You have to let those go. Let those fall. But when you're crying, when you're releasing, release it with your tears. Don't cry and hold on to the sorrow. When you're crying, let, let those tears cleanse you. Let them go. Whatever that problem is, through your tears, let it go. It's very important at this time that we clear, clear space. We cannot hold on to anger. We cannot hold on to anxiety and worry. We cannot. It takes up too much space inside us. It takes away from our light. We need that space so that we can glow, so that we can share that light with everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. I just had to say that. I, I just, I felt compelled to say that. Okay. We have today, it's another, it's another one question day. And this one is mine as well. I, I already said we're going to kind of stay on what's going on right now because this is what is going to consume the most energy in, in the universe. So a part of this is what's going on in the Senate right now. So there was a, an anti-lynching bill that was passed through Congress and it's now in the Senate. And it cannot, it's stuck in the Senate because of one senator, Rand Paul, will not let this bill go forward. A bill that would criminalize, that would make it a, 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 an exa a exacerbated crime to lynch someone. And we have one Southern white Republican senator from the state of Kentucky who doesn't think this is a good idea. Who, who thinks that the, the language is too broad, that if somebody just hurts somebody while they're trying to lynch them, that they might get 10 years in prison. This is what we're up against. This is the type of evil that we have to have space cleared so that we can focus our energy where it needs to go. This is very important. So this is what my question is today. I am going to do a full reading on Rand Paul. I don't, I'm not going to ask if he's going to change his mind or not. I'm going to do a reading on Rand Paul to see just exactly what kind of human being he is, where his heart is, what, what makes him tick. Because you have to ask yourself, why? Why? That, that's like holding up saying that murder is illegal. Why would somebody, why would somebody think that a, a lynching should be less defined? Or, or, or should I say, should be more defined? These, these are the demons that we are up against, guys. Okay, so I'm using my, my uh, Radiant Rider Whites. And I'm just going to read on Rand Paul. That's my only question for today. So let me shuffle these cards real good. We're, I'm using the Ancient Ten Card Tarot Spread. So, Tarot, please, please. Give us an insight into Rand Paul. What is 
what who is Randfall? What is what what makes him him? Tell us about Randfall. Okay. Got two jumpers. We got the sun. And we've got the the six of cups. The happy the happy family, happy childhood, happy home. And then we have the the sun, the the blessed sun. Okay. So for Rand Paul, let's see. The sun is meant, uh, material happiness, fortunate uh, marriage, and contentment. And then the six, the six of cups is the happy childhood, happy home. So let's continue. What is above, Rand Paul? Huh? I'm not done shuffling. Okay. The third card out. What is above for Rand Paul? There we go. All right, the goal or destiny. We get the hanged man. We get the hanged man. Suspense. Suspense. This is a waiting game. This is, It's. it has nothing to do about the bill. I'm sorry, guys. My, my spirit guides are speaking to me. And they are telling me that the reason that he is voting against this bill has nothing to do with the bill. This is a diversion tactic. It's a slow things down. This is a control tactic. This is a control tactic. It has nothing to do with the what the bill is about. It's all about buying time. It's a misdirection. It's, hey, look at this. It's, it's another thing to keep people's attention focused on something else. Look over here while we're doing this over here. This is a blatant misdirection. Okay, we're going to go right back into the read for Rand Paul. But what he's doing on this bill is a misdirection. It's a misdirection. The fourth card, the distant past, we get the Queen of Cups in reverse. We get the Queen of Cups in reverse. The fifth card, the recent past events for Rand Paul. We get the Four of Wands. This is the GOP Happy Family card. This is the, the card that I get for them. It's in reverse for Rand Paul, which is telling me that they are worried. The, the GOP is worried. They understand that they have, they have won a lot of battles, but they have lost the war. And they already know that they have lost the war. They know that their fortunes are inverted at this point. The future influence, what they have to look forward to. Get the Nine of Cups in reverse. We get the Little Emperor and his horde. He is losing. They have lost control. They are, their assets, everything that they are trying to protect is going to be exposed. They are going, <coughs> excuse me, they're going to lose they're going to lose money. They're going to lose influence. The seventh card, the questioner, this is, this is Rand Paul's uh, perspective. We get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see if everything's in reverse. No, everything is not in reverse. All right. So we get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse reads, um, this is evil, fear, suspicion, and mistrust. This is fear. Rand Paul is afraid. He is not up for re-election, so his seat is safe until 2022. But he is still afraid. He sees that, he, he understands. He understands that, Basically, almost all is lost. The eighth card, the environmental factors. This is the, the questioner's influence on others. We get the eight of wands. This is the information that's going to be coming in rapidly. This, 
This is information. This is paperwork. This is testimony. Oh my gosh, this is this is evidence. This is evidence that is going to be coming in that is indisputable about acts, wrongdoings, undue influence. I, the word just misappropriation is ringing in my head. Things that have been done wrong. Things that have been done intentionally wrong. It, the information about these acts is coming quickly. The ninth card, the inner emotion, where Rand Paul is internally. He draws the king of cups. This is Donald, guys, in reverse. He hitched his, he hitched his fortune to Donald Trump, and the bottom has fallen out of the barrel. That savior, the great white hope, is the Titanic at this point. It is a sinking ship. And the final outcome, the final result for Rand Paul, oh my gosh, we get the devil in reverse. The devil in reverse. This is evil fatality, weakness, pettiness, and blindness. This is Rand Paul's final outcome. He is blind. He, he cannot see. Or he, I, I'm not going to say he can't see. But he is going to, he is going to get what he deserves. He is intentionally turning a blind eye. There it is. He's intentionally turning a blind eye to bad acts that he sees. He's a yes man. He's a pawn. He's a useful idiot. And at the bottom of the deck for Rand Paul, eh, we get the two of cups. He's making deals. He's making secret deals and partnerships. But he's lost. It's, it's The bottom has fallen out for this man. So, the overview for the reading of Rand Paul, who he is as a person. Rand Paul is a person who knows He knows that what he has done is hurting, what he's doing is hurting America. He's doing what he is, he's a yes man, he's a shell for the GOP. He is an errand boy who will do what he's told. And there's no substance. There's, there's, there's no depth. There's none. And, I, and there's nothing else to say. He is a shell. He's a useful tool. For the GOP, but in his in all of his karma, he won't succeed. He's his 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 everything that he's doing will be to the detriment to his own detriment to the detriment of himself. So that is Rand Paul. That is Rand Paul, and the reason that he is sitting on the lynching bill is to buy time for the GOP. It's a distraction. So this has been my reading for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you take breaks if you become overwhelmed. Turn off the television if you need to. Make sure that you have some type of a creative outlet that you can let those emotions go. Drawing, 
painting, boxing, working out, running, something to get rid of negative energy. It is very important that we take care of our health. Please remember, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Please protect yourselves. If you are out and you are protesting, please, 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 please cover your mouth and nose. Wear PPE. Protect yourself. Protect those around you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye, guys.